Hello, my dear Fang Fang family. The clip that you're about to see is from a live stream that I did with my good friend Yimi Yan Lian, who was an agile coach uh, during my time at Spotify. And he taught me something that is called working contract contracts, which is a uh, process concept where you all agree unanimously in a team about specific aspects of your work, like how you do code reviews, etc., etc. Um, it's it's really powerful and it's one of the best things I, I learned from him, him and honestly during my during my time at Spotify. And I, I hope you're gonna like it. Before we go on to the good core, get onto the clip, a lot of speech errors today. Uh, I would like to thank the tank this way. <laughs> <laughs> this week's sponsor, Educative. Uh, yeah, you can find uh, find them in this this link and in the episode description. Uh, they are an amazing um, course software as a service kind of thing, where you uh, learn uh, different technological te technological concepts like React hooks or uh, Docker or and many, many, many things. It's text-based and it's highly interactive uh, and it's a great way of learning things and we're really proud to have them as a sponsor. So please do check them out after the clip. Um, with all that said, onto the clip, working contracts, Yimmy, bam. Uh, and then you end up in consensus hell where everyone feels they need to pitch in on every discussion and no one feels it up to them to call the shots or just mayhem. And I've seen this, um, that's a common trap for startups, by the way. When you're small and one big team, and then it's really big, but still working, and then all of a sudden you're 100 people. And then I've actually used Agile a few times to add bureaucracy and add structure. It sounds weird. <laughs> what? M many big organizations, they use Agile to get rid of bureaucracy and unnecessary process. But I've used Agile to introduce some structures so that teams and people can work efficiently together. Mm. Yeah, like uh, one of the things that you introduced me to was um, uh, the the, uh, the working contract, which was definitely a type of bureaucracy that we added that we didn't quite uh, have before, but it was so useful. Could you talk a little bit about what the working contract is? Uh, I, call, I usually call it, uh, sometimes called code of conduct or working agreement. And the way I, what we did, we ended up after a workshop one hour-ish, I think we ended up with 20 or 30 post-its. And uh, we revisited this poster, because the post-its were put on a poster, and the poster post-its described expectations we have on each other when collaborating and communicating, both face-to-face -face and digitally. And so it could be silly things like, if you're late to a meeting, alert your peers, or buy cake. Uh, it could be things like, when you, uh, comment on the, uh, when you're doing code reviews, be clear, be specific, don't have emotional wordings to it. Uh, do plus one within a day, it could be uh, don't silently, it could be more vague stuff, like don't silently disagree, speak your mind in meetings. Uh, what else? Uh, everyone sh should help out testing, pretty general statements, but still it's a clear intent. And we did this collaboratively, and I, and I do this with all teams. I think it's such a powerful tool. And then once in a while, maybe once a month or every quarter, we revisit this set of expectations, and then we self-evaluate ourselves. So are we, are we good at honoring these bullets? Mm. And then we recolor them uh, orange, green, or red. Green means, yeah, we're, this is good. We're, we're honoring this. Orange would mean, ah we're cheating most of the time or we're not that, that, that not that good of honoring it but we want to get better <laughs> read this no we're, we're not doing this we're forgetting about it and then we should ask ourselves what do we want to be better at it or should we s rephrase it is there something wrong with the expectation uh, and i think there's such a powerful tool for helping teams trust in the collaboration process mm -hmm. or trust each other that we are honoring the same values yeah like it's uh, especially code reviews. I remember one one contract that we had. We was just simple. Like we do co code review every day, uh, because in earlier teams I was found that I always harbored a little bit of either resentment over others that don't, weren't quite doing the same amount of code review as I did, 
or a latent guilt that I was not doing enough code review. Uh, and just having like this like rather loose uh, thing that, yeah, you just do code, some code review every day. Uh, that was enough for us to like, okay, this is what we do. And the expectations were so calming for me. Mm. Yeah. And another br brilliant thing about that is that if you do this working agreement together, right? So you don't put anything onto the working agreement unless everyone agrees to. That means later on, if someone kind of fails to honor a bullet in that agreement, you can actually confront that person and say, wait a second, Maria or Kalle, uh, you were in the meeting where we agreed to do this or that, but I don't see you doing it. Wh why? What's wrong with the bullet or what's going on? Help me understand why you are not honoring the working agreement you were part of creating. So it provides us with a tool to give uh, feedback on uh, and hold each other accountable for behaviors. Instead of just saying, you piss, you piss me off when you don't do this. But you can actually point and say, you were in the room when we agreed upon this. Woof! If you like that, uh, you should uh, absolutely watch the live streams proper next time. I stream three th times a week, and you can check out the schedule at twitch.tv slash funfunfunction. Also, don't forget to check out our lovely sponsor, Educative, if you're looking to learn something using their text-based interactive courses. Uh, all right, uh, that's it for me. Until next time I see you, stay curious.